Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is our very first episode of the It Girl University's Office Hours, and I'm so glad to have you guys here. Someone commented, I've been thinking about having office hours, right? And someone commented on one of my recent videos asking me to have office hours, and I felt like that was that was synchronicity because I had already thought about that and I just needed to find a really good way to incorporate it where we can sit here and we can have these chats and keep it real because you guys know... I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Lives are supposed to also be like super put together and professional, but you, y'all are my girls. So we're going to sit here and we're going to have a really, really good chat. If you're just joining, like I said, the reason why I want to talk about this topic, does looking good matter? And yes, it very much does. Um, and it's not about vanity. The reason why I wanted to have this conversation is to serve as motivation to my girls who are on this journey, because I want to discuss the advantages of you putting your best self forward. And I know some of you guys already know this, but we're going to talk about it again and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into it and really just I'm going to keep it real with you guys. And I want you guys to comment to if you, when you, you're going to relate to some things. I know some people have de dealt with the things that I've dealt with. And I want you guys to really discuss that and talk. And then we'll have some Q and A's and really just get back and forth and discuss this with each other. But I wanted to get right into this. So looking good, why it matters. It's so important to put your best self forward, you guys, for so many reasons. The first one, and it's not about vanity. I want to get that out of there. I think that people will go out of their way to make you feel as though you waking up and putting effort into your makeup, your skincare, your outfit. You, you ever run into somebody who says you're doing too much? Those people, right? They're going to make you feel bad about trying to put your best self forward and you cannot fall into that trap because we all know that when you put your best self forward, you already know when you put on that outfit and you feel really, really good or when you know how you're in a bad mood and then you get your hair done and all of a sudden all is right. There's a science behind that. When you look good, you literally feel good. I mean, it, we already know this. So I think it's so important to think about the confidence aspect of looking good. And if you're on a journey to lose weight, if, even if it's from five pounds to some of us had 60 pounds to lose, I want you to remember how you feel when you're uncomfortable with yourself. I want you to think about how many times you've turned down an opportunity to go out with your girlfriends, how many times you've turned down a date where you just decide not to go somewhere because you just don't feel confident enough. That's what we're trying to get over, right? We're on a glow up journey. We're on a level up journey. And that's physically, that's mentally, that's financially even, you know, so Looking good is important. The first aspect of that is confidence. And when we think about like physical transformation, when I was on my level, I just posted this actually in our Facebook group, y'all. When I was, when I decided I was going to level up, the first thing I tackled was my skincare because that was my biggest insecurity. And I know that that caused me to not be as confident because it was something where I couldn't even look at people directly in their eyes. Let me know if you relate to that. Is there anybody who can relate to me? When you when your face is breaking out <laughs> and you cannot control it, there's nothing you can do. You're waking up every single day with a new breakout. You can't even look at people in their eyes. You don't want to go anywhere. You know, and I sat with that for so long. And then there was one day I was just like, you know what? I'm going to handle that. <laughs> I'm going to handle that. Let's see, me since I was a teenager. Yes, Tasha, you am, I am you and you are me. Um, I've had bad skin since I was literally like 13. Literally like 13 years old. And it, it continued. It did not give me zero breaks. I think the only time I had a moment of just clear skin was during my pregnancy with my son, my oldest son. But then I had other issues, you know what I mean? It's like I traded one issue for the next. And, you know, actually both my, both pregnancies, my skin was clear. But right after that, blew up. So if you are struggling with a skincare issue, any issue, there's somebody you can talk to. I highly recommend 
going to see a dermatologist if you are struggling with your skincare. See a dermatologist. These days, we are lucky enough to have um, telemed. You can literally book an appointment. You can pay $30 online and you'll have a dermatologist evaluate you and write you a prescription. Really no excuse. I said this in one of my other videos. My mother has instilled in me, your face is your passport. It's really the first thing people see when they meet you. And whether they know it or not, people equate how your skin looks to what level of health you have. And you can be perfectly healthy, right? They're just judging you based on that. When I was younger, people used to be like, you should just wash your face. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> You know what I mean? So, so Tasha said my skin and weight. Yes. So if it's your skin, Tasha, I implore you see a dermatologist. The best thing I ever did was see a dermatologist. My retinol taking, using tretinoin, I will use tretinoin forever. Okay. I need y'all to be putting retinol, tretinoin on my face on while I'm like before I pass. Okay. I don't, it's gotta be done. It's got to be done because it's just a game changer. It changes the texture of your face. It, it allows your skin cells to turn over quickly. I'm older, you know, I'm in my 40s. So I have to kind of preserve the skin that I have. You know what I mean? So if your issue is skin, because that's the first thing people say, see when they see you, I would work on that first and foremost, get your skin together. We're already on the body part, right? We're already on the physical transformation. If you're having a bad day, if you didn't do your walk or you ate a piece of cake, that's okay. Get back on it tomorrow because the whole point is for you to feel confident. The time is going to go by anyway. And whatever you're eating, whatever that food that you're craving, it is never going to taste as good as feeling confident feels. That makes sense? Let me look at some of the comments. I do an allergic reaction to prescribed medication. Oh. Yeah, and people are so mean, Sharon. People are so people can be so rude and so mean. They have just I, I can't even get on it. Retinol, yes, Leah, retinol. So tretinoin is is the um, is retinol basically, and I've been using that for years. I love it. It's a complete game changer. I have definitely gone moments where I did not take it. And did y'all see that cover picture? Let me know if you saw that thumbnail. Matter of fact, hit the like button like crazy if you saw that thumbnail and wondered whether or not that was me or not. <laughs> I just wanted to crawl under a rock. Felt. Felt. And it wasn't just my face, guys. It was my whole skin, my back. I mean, my chest everywhere. Yes, my skin has not been a problem. Mary Kay. Mary Kay. Yeah. I love Retin-A. Absolutely. What about under eye circles if you look tired? I'm so big on skincare, you guys. I use Ola Hendrickson's um, cream for my under eye. The vitamin C. Just ordered some retinol from The Ordinary. Someone in the group, Sharon, just mentioned um, retinol from The Ordinary. And she says it's amazing. She says it's amazing. I use a prescription grade. It is like 10 times stronger. It literally turns over your skin very, very quickly. So, yeah, you want to tackle, if, you know, if you're going to start with your physical transformation, start with your skin. People equate what your skin looks like to your health. They just do. They just immediately do. So, you know, if you, if you've ever, you, the reason why you want to make sure you're putting forth this effort into making sure your skin looks good, making sure your outfit is correct, making sure your hair is put together, people form a first impression within seven seconds, you guys, within seven seconds, they immediately perceive you in a particular way. You're going to notice, I have been on both ends of the spectrum. I've been ignored, okay? I've been the person that was invisible in the room to the person that's seen in the room. I've been that person, okay? Where someone is just completely ignoring you. If I walk up to the door and somebody, a man is walking in the door in front of me, he just lets the door slam and you know what I mean? Like no holding the door open, no nothing. They can see me coming towards it. I've been there. And then I've also been the person where they are waiting until I cross the street from my car. They will wait while I'm walking slow. 
I've been on both ends of it. I know that people will treat you differently based on the way that they look. You look, they perceive you different. And so I think that when it comes to confidence, that should be first and foremost, a motivator for you to put your best self forward because you want to get that confidence level up so you can have conversations with people easier. You're more outgoing. You're more approachable. OK, and you don't feel uncomfortable in your skin around people. You've seen the people in the room that's uncomfortable, the person that's like kind of in the corner and they're not sitting up straight. I've been that person, so I can relate. You know what I mean? So confidence should be the first reason. The second should be how you want people to perceive you. You know, you want people to look at you and say, yeah, she takes care of herself. And little do you know, people assume that if you take care of yourself, you're going to take care of them. You're going to take care of their things. You're going to take care of your surrounding. If you go in for an interview, you could be just as capable as another woman that walks in there. But if you walk in there like that girl and she just didn't do her best that day, she her hair is a little disheveled or her outfit is a little sloppy or maybe she, she just didn't put any effort. She could have been more qualified. I'm telling you, if that employer looks at you and says, but you know what? She's in here. She is dressed. She is prepared. Everything is proper, put in place. You're more likely to get the job. It's real. Google it, y'all. Google it. It's so important. It's so important for you to take the time to put your best self forward. Self-care is just also a form of respect for yourself. You know, I mean, if you get up and you roll out of the house and your hair is disheveled and you just throw on some slides and you just don't put any thought into how you're looking, you're not really respecting yourself at all. You just want to take the extra time. And there's so many little tips and tricks that you could do that you always look put together and prim. I'm a ponytail girl. I just make sure it's like put together. You know what I mean? My big issue is wearing a raggedy. You know what, Susan? You mentioned that the other day. Raggedy clothing. I'm cute. You are cute. I can see it. And I have cute clothes, yet I throw on the same outfits every day. I'm confident, but my clothing does not reflect this. So, yeah. So, you're confident, right? You already have that there. The thing is, so the people who meet you, right, when they see you, you want them to look at you and say, yeah, she's confident. Because I believe you. You know? But... The raggedy clothes, toss them, toss them. You know what you do? You get matching sets. I am a matching set girl. I just get a whole bunch of sets that match. It's super easy. They're super comfortable. Leggings, wide leg pants, wide leg sweats that still make you look really put together and chic. Get that. I was walking up to Ulta one day. I had on leggings and a, a, a matching legging set. And I had a sweater just draped over my shoulder, like really preppy. And I had some shades on and I was walking and I was taking my time. I was looking down when I looked up. This woman had been waiting for me. She had held the door open for me. She was waiting for me to come through the door. And I was like, oh, my God, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. She said, no, absolutely not. Y'all, I had on leggings. But you you carry yourself different when you're put together. So I would say if your issue is that you just want to grab for the raggedy clothes, throw the clothes out. Susan, I'm coming over. Throw the clothes out. Move past them. Get your cute little sets and make that your everyday wear. They can still be nice and comfortable. There are some really cute sets. Affordable too. Target, Amazon, Zara, just get you some cute little sets. You don't have to dress up every single day. You know what I mean? Grown woman, girl animals. I miss something. If you look good, you feel good. Yes, I'm putting that up. This, this is real. When you look good, you feel good. You do everything different. You walk different. You know what I'm talking about when you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, that girl did that thing. You know what I mean? You're just, a, you're more bubbly. You know, you're more approachable. Cute sets, home outfits. That's another thing. Guys, get you some cute pajamas. It doesn't stop when you're outside. Just do it for you. I wear perfume every night. I got perfume on for y'all right now. And you can't even smell me. <laughs> 
Oh, the sets are granimals for adults. Oh, I need to look that up. I don't know what that is. <laughs> she said Natalie is too young to know what I, I do not know what that is. <laughs> Let me go up and look at some of these comments. I don't know. No one told me I'm fat. Listen, they're not going to tell you. I'm out of control at times. Clean and smell good, but sometimes it's a no. Yeah, you guys. So respect. Oh, listen, Miss Yvette said fat works in F HR. M Miss Yvette, tell them, please. You are more likely to get a job if you show up looking good, more so than if you're qualified. They're just going to trust you more. You know, they're just going to trust you more. There's this thing called the halo effect where they attribute your looks to other things about you. They just kind of spread them out. It's kind of like that reason when you ever meet a real fine man and you just assume he's a good person because he looked good. His teeth are white. He take care of himself. You're just like, that's a good man, Savannah. And they be the devil. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's the perception, you know, and you want to also think about just what your personal brand is. You want people to think of you a particular way. You know, if you have a signature scent, you just want people to attribute that to you. When they see you, they know Susan's going to show up fire, set up always, put together, smelling good, looking right. You want people to think of you in that way. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. I done came a long way. I done came a long way. I've been that girl. I've been not that girl, that girl, and not that girl again, you know? And then you have to make a decision one day where you're like, I need to, I need to level up. And when I made that decision, I literally made a list of everything that I was not happy with. And I worked on those things. Skin worked on that. My weight worked on that. My hair worked on that. You know, I needed to, I didn't wear makeup. For years, you guys, I did not wear makeup until I was in my 30s. So I started practicing on my makeup, watching YouTube tutorials. It took me so many different looks to settle on what I really loved. And this is it. I'm going to wear this. Y'all going to see me in this makeup look every single time. But it took me some time to get here. But I had to practice at it. And then now I have like my signature look, you know, it's, and, and it's going to be ever evolving. There's going to be one day where I'm going to like something else. You know, um, I went through a phase where I had, well, I still love lashes, y'all. I still love lashes, but you know, a little more toned down. I used to love super big hoops. Now I'm just more of a, like a smaller, chunkier earring type of a girl. Um, I like dainty jewelry. You're going to get to a point where you're going to find your signature style and you're going to be known for that. And that's what you want to go for. But you, you have to be intentional. You want to be intentional. You don't want to just get up and wing it. You know what I mean? Thank you, Susan. Do you dress your body type? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you want to dress your body type. And, and this is where body positivity comes in, because when people talk about body positivity, it's about just being happy with the type of shape that you already have and dressing for that and accentuating the things you absolutely love about yourself, because we're all just shaped different, you know? So I de you definitely want to dress for your body type. So, you know, when I'm smaller, when I... If I'm bigger, my hips are out of control. Everything is out of control. But, you know, other than that, when I get and when I'm on my fitness and everything like that, I accentuate my hips and my waist, you know, because I, I, I love my shape. You know, I'm happy with with that. I'm just not happy with it when it's all out of control. You know what I mean? And I think everybody should be happy with their body type and just accentuate it. If you want to look, if, let's say if you want to look curvier, then that's when you're going to wear like wider leg pants to give you that silhouette you know you just want to find the things that flatter you you want to do some research and figure out what looks best with your body type and as long as your clothes are fitting well as long as they are not wrinkled and they aren't torn tattered if you find a really good signature hairstyle whether that be in a ponytail or not like i said i love a good ponytail but if not you're gonna see me in a side part you're gonna see me in a side part and i'm fine with that you know what i mean <clears throat> 
So let's see what else we got. I'm sorry, I'm looking at comments. Yes, embrace your shape because even when you lose tone, your shape will remain. Absolutely, embrace it. That that body positivity, you know, it's okay. Whatever shape you were blessed with, get that, take that. Just treat that body the best that you can. So if you're in a place right now where you're like, you know, I'm just, I'm not feeling up to my diet. I'm not feeling up to working out today. I want you to take that day. I want you to sit in it for that day. And then the next day, I want you to get up. You know what? This is so important too. Do you know how many days when I first started out that I didn't want to work out? This was before the walking. The days when I did not work, work out, I worked out anyway. There's going to be days you just don't want to do it. And that's for a lot of things. There's some days you might not want to get up and go to work, but y'all do it though. It's got to be the same for this. You get up and you go to work on the days that you don't want to because you want that paycheck. You don't want to get fired. But if you're looking for confidence, if you're looking for people to look at you and see the real you, because unfortunately just the world is just messed up. We're just judging people based on how they look. We're not getting to know them at all. And honestly, that's just how it is. That's how the world is. Instead of fighting against that, you got to play the game, you know, because when somebody meets you, they do not know who you are and you can't expect them to know that you are an amazing human being on the inside. They have no idea. You want the best chance of them giving you that shot to let them know. Let me see. I believe when you, let me see. Did I, does I, I believe when you dress and look good for yourself, it's a wrap from your underclothes to your outfit. My cousin's teasing me because underclothes are always matching. It's a must for me. I know that's right. That's real. It's for you. It's for you. I think I prioritize being a mom and two little boys and have forgotten to celebrate. Yes. Susan. Yeah. I mean, you're not alone. That's that's relatable. That's relatable. When I say in the beginning of my glow up video that, you know, you got married, you had kids and you just forgot about yourself. You just you just let yourself go. That was me. That was me, guys. You just forget yourself. You don't prioritize yourself, but you can be a you will be a better mom, a better wife, a better girlfriend or whatever have you if you take care of you. So you want to take that time. You want to prioritize your time. If you need to ask someone to watch the kids so you can get your nails done, you do that. If you do your nails yourself, do that. But just get somebody to help you out with that because it's okay for you to have your you time and take care of you because you'll show up more for your kids in the long run. You know what I mean? So I feel you, Susan. I'm there with you. Yes, Sharon, we're not alone. Th this is not new. This isn't like a situation where like we're the only, you, you know, I'm not the only one who's going through this. And that's one of the reasons why I came back to YouTube. I really wanted to talk about this. I'm so passionate because at 42, I feel my best. At 42, I feel my best. I'm very confident in where I stand right now. I don't feel like I'm in competition with younger women. I, I feel great. And I feel like it's so okay for you to be, you know, get older and still want to feel good in your skin. You want to get your sexy back. It's not unattainable. You just got to do the things. And the things have to be important enough to you. If you're not as important to you, <laughs> Then you like you have to know that you are so important. You make the time to do the things. You're gonna get up, you're gonna prep your meals because you matter. You're important. That's you respecting yourself. And I think if you make that shift, that eating the right thing, going on that walk is a form of self-respect, I think that'll make the difference. Respect yourself. We've got to take ourselves off the back burner. That part, that part. You, you're not the last person. Take care of you first. You know, when you're on a plane and they tell you if they drop the oxygen mask on, put your mask on first, then you help the person next to you, rather it be your kids or not. It's the same thing. That's just the rule of life. Take care of you 
first and then you can show up for everybody else. Make sense? I realized that I, let me put this up here. I think this needs to be talked about. I realized that I self-sabotage. If one thing is working, another thing is off like diet. I'm realizing that I do this, but giving myself grace and just being aware that I'm working towards my goals. Yeah. Awareness is a gift. Awareness is a gift, guys. If you can be aware that you're doing something, for you to be aware that you're self-sabotaging, it gives you an opportunity to fix that thing. Now you know, right? It's okay to be off, guys. We're not perfect. We're not perfect and we're never going to be perfect at all. That's all right. You're just going to wake up the next day and you're going to decide to do better. It's just about waking up every single day and making a decision. That's why I think I posted visualize. You need to keep that woman that you feel like you are inside. You need to keep that woman top of mind. She needs to be top of mind. You should be able to see yourself and say, I am after that woman right there. Let me get up and let me prep my meals. I don't feel like walking today. However, that's who I want to see. Let me get up and take this walk. I've been walking 10 to 15,000 steps this week. That is amazing. I had to change my mindset about exercise. Use it to manage your mental health. Yeah, let me tell you, a good old walk out. Act like y'all don't come back real happy and proud of yourself when you're done walking. Am I the only one? Who has come back home after walking and not felt good? Yeah, do what you can while you can and allow yourself to feel accomplished. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Seriously. So yes, uh, self-respect, right? I want you guys to look at it like that. I think if you look at it like that, before you make a decision to eat something you know, you're going to self-sabotage, ask yourself, is that a form of respect for yourself? If you notice, like being fit, looking good, just putting your best self forward, that's like a silent flex. You don't have to walk into a room and tell everybody, hey guys, you know, I've been walking every single day. You know, I've been, you know, I've been on my health kick every single day for the last 45 days. And I'm like, you don't have to announce that to anybody. They can see it when you walk through the room. They see it in your confidence. You feel comfortable in your clothing. It is a silent flex. You don't have to announce that to anybody. They can see it. It's like radiating through you. And when you see somebody who's out there and they, they're fit, you make assumptions about them. You already respect them a little bit more, right? You respect the fact that they have the discipline to get up every single day and go to the gym. You automatically have that little bit of respect. You're like, yeah, they've got it. You know what I mean? So like I said, my tips, start with skin. If that's an issue, you're going to start with skin. If it's weight or anything, we are on this challenge we, we've got this now, right? We, we know what we need to do. We know we've got to track our meals. We know we've got to do our daily walk. I dropped a video in the Facebook today about why walking is best and why low intensity steady state cardio is best because it burns fat. Okay. Um, so we want to, we want to do that. We want to start on that style. You, you need to, if you don't have a personal style, this is the time where you want to start finding your personal style. I recommend you going to, well, one, you might follow somebody on Instagram. If you find that you love the outfits that they wear, that's probably, probably because that's your sense of style. If it's colorful, then, then you need to move towards that area. If you go to Pinterest, you can start looking for outfits, start pinning the things that you really, really love. And when you notice that you're pinning the same thing over and over and over again, chances are that's your personal style. I just recommend at that point, you start shopping for little pieces that you see that are standing out to you so you can build that wardrobe. You still need your staples. You still need that good blazer. You still need a good pair of fitting jeans. You know, wide leg is my favorite right now. A nice pair of black pumps is so necessary. Jewelry, 
so necessary. Find your jewelry style. Lately, I have been into like more daintier jewelry. I mean, you, I wear the same thing every single day. It's super boring. Um, but I love my, you know, my little hoops and that's my personal style. So you want to go out and you want to find what you love and start crafting that style that is very personal, your personal brand. What are we talking about? Hi, Natalie. I forgot. I I forgot who I was as a woman. I lost myself over time. I got to pin that. Oh, Michelle, I'm glad I helped. Yes, but you know what? I've been there, Michelle. I've lost myself. Did y'all see? Y'all, did y'all not see the thumbnail to this? We're the same. I'm you, sister. <laughs> I can relate. Back pain, knee pain, ankles are hurting. There was a time where I could barely bend over, you guys, because I had gained so much weight. I couldn't find my personal style. I didn't know what I wanted to wear. My hair was just all over the place. I didn't know how to do my makeup. My skin was a wreck and a mess, and I just let it go. But when you make the decision that you want to do better, start, make a list and check the list off. Make a list and do each one and do not stop. Yeah, especially as a mom, like how many moms, how many moms are in here? That's what I wanna know. How many moms are in here and how many of you guys literally let yourself go after you had kids and made your children your priority and almost to the point where you feel guilty if you did not put them first? You feel guilty. Yeah, being a mom becomes your identity. Self-care is so important, guys. Mama four. It's like you love them. You love your kids, right? Like, we love them. But we're still our own person and our happiness matters. How we feel about ourselves matters. We still want to be confident. If you're confident, you be, if, you're, if you're married, you can be a better wife. When you're confident in yourself, I mean, look, we can have some conversations, not on the YouTube though, but we can have some conversations on the difference it makes when you feel really, really good about yourself, how that really can change your relationship. If you feel like your relationship doesn't have that spark, you know, I am in a season of, you know, I, I, you know, men is not, men are not the center of our, of our world. Um, and I don't like when I'm looking good, I, I'm, I don't do that for the, the, the male gaze, right? I, I do it for myself. I love to look and feel good. So right now that's the season that I'm in. But at the same time, if you, if you have, men are very visual people. If you wanting to get out on the scene, if you're single, do we have anyone who's single in here? Moms that are single, recently divorced, ready to get back in the game? Anyone? Yes, I'm in the season, Nick. Who else? If you're like single, but you also have children, put that in the chat. So how, how real do you guys want me to keep it? Let me know. You want me to keep it real or do you want me to like pull back stuff? Let me know how real I can get because it's only, it's only because I, I I know what's up. Let me know how real I can get. Please let me know how real I can get in the chat. Mm. Guys. How cute. All the way real? Okay. All right. All right. My girl said keep it real. If you want to get back in the dating scene, There are men, it's not that people shouldn't love you for who you are. You're probably an amazing woman, beautiful heart, will give your last dime to anything, will bend over backwards for your man. But the truth remains, men like to look at pretty things. And they can still love you. They can still love you. They're like, in the core, that is my woman. Men like 
to look at pretty things. And you will do yourself a disservice by thinking, I've been with this man. Y'all told me to keep it real, so I'm going to keep it real. Oh my gosh, Betsy, thank you so much. You, oh my God, thank you. Um, you will do yourself a disservice if you think that I've been with this man for 20, 30 something years and he loves me. I have done all the things in the world. So it don't matter what I look like. You will do yourself a disservice because every man likes to look at pretty things. Okay. So it is okay if you are married and if you are single and you want to get back out there and you want the best chance of meeting a guy that you, that you like, because you want somebody who looks good too. You want to look at somebody who looks good too. I think as women, it's a little different for us because there's different things that we find attractive in men. Like, you know, you want a provider, you want a man that's a man, you know, when a man is successful, a taller man, you, you feel like not look at certain things won't really matter as much, right? If he's successful, if he has a good job, if he's funny, if he smells good, if he's got a beard, if he's tall, dark, handsome, we'll look aside for a lot of things. <clears throat> but for women, men like to look at pretty things. And so if you want to get back in the game, Give yourself the best shot to find that man. You're going to find someone. You're going to be attracted to them. You want to be feeling your best so that I don't, I'm now I don't recommend you shooting your shot, right? The, the only shot you shooting is a smile to let them know it's okay to come to you. But that's a whole nother topic. I can get into that, right? We're not, we're not going up to men and saying, Hey, no, you're, you're, you're giving them the sign so they can come over and talk to you, but you got to feel confident in yourself to even get to that point. So if you're single and you no longer want to be single and you want to meet someone or you want to get back in the dating game, you need to get your list out of the things you want to tackle. You want to get that confidence up. You want to get your mindset re ready or shifted. OK, you want to speak life into yourself. You want to do daily affirmations and you got to do inner work too, you guys. Like it's not just about what you look like. You got to do inner work. And I'm telling you, you can. I can talk myself out of feeling pretty tomorrow. I can wake up every day and be like, oh my God, I just don't look good. And I will believe it. Or I can wake up every day and be like, you are beautiful. You are worthy. And my facial features will change from that. I can get, that's a whole nother thing. But I'm telling you, like, you, you need to be positive and you need to speak only positivity over yourself. No negative self-talk. And then you need to tackle the things that don't make you happy about yourself, skincare, whatever that is, body, working out, whatever that is. If you need therapy, get the therapy. But if you want someone, if you want someone to, because you're you're a good person, right? We got that out of the way, right? You're going to bend over backwards. You're going to cook dinner and you're going to, you know, be the best woman in the world. And all. You already got that out of the way, right? We already know you could be an amazing woman. But you also want to entice your your man, right? You kind of want them like, hey, babe. Oh, you you want what, babe? That's how they be acting. And and I would love to say that that's not true. And I hate that it's like that because it sucks that it's like that because you feel like, damn, like you got to be that shallow. I'm an amazing woman and you're doing that. But that's the way they are, guys. And instead of fighting against it, instead of going on a tangent talking about how, well, you need to love that person for no, baby. Stop, stop trying to fight. That's that that's how they are. It's, 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 that's how they are. It's like they're like we're animals. In a, we're animals, right? We have we're attracted to men who are successful and make good money because instinctually we want a man who can take care of us and our children. It's not because we're gold diggers, guys. And men want to look at pretty things because it's instinctual. Let's not fight it. Let's play the game. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Okay, let me stop. I gotta look. Wait, hold on. Y'all, I could write a book. Just know it is possible. I showed it for me. This man is a whole mood. Yes, Samantha. Words are so powerful. You wake up every single day and you tell yourself you are beautiful. I'm telling you, your face is going to change the mirror. I, I, I kid you not. I, I, I kid you not. 
Same reason I'm single. My kids are still too young. How how young are your kids, Stacy? Listen, I wish I can't tell. What is you have to comment what your name is? I think they hear better when you look good. That is a word. That is a word. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm like I said. I'm. I can. <laughs> I could talk about this. I could talk about that subject forever. Um, but. It's just, it's just true. You just get better. Tr Guys, I was going into Chipotle for lunch. I've been working out of this office for the past two years. Okay. I walk in there. I take my order. People, hey, here you go. Uh, $12, charge my cart, walk out every day, every day, every day. Not every day, but whenever I would go in there. You know what? I decided, you know what, Natalie, get your shit together. Got myself together. Decided to level up. Lost some weight. Didn't go in there for a minute. Pop back up in that Chipotle. All of a sudden, hey, you work next door, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've been meaning to go in there and talk to you because um, I'm looking for an agent. And I was like, oh, okay. Got to the register. Went to go pull out my card to pay. Ah, oh, lunch on me today. Oh, lunch is on. Oh, okay. I've been here for two years. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a game I like to play. <laughs> That's a game I like to play. They, you get treated differently when you look your best. Looks matters. And I, there's nothing anybody can tell me that'll make me know otherwise. I, I've been on both ends, guys. I've been on both ends. And it's like, ever since then, if I want a free drink, guess where I go? I go to Chipotle, baby. Because they're going to give it to me every single time. They didn't do it before. Because for what? They didn't even see me before. I can see the passion from your face. Y'all. I've seen it. I've seen it. And I think that people try so much to sugarcoat. People want to fight how the world is. They want to fight how men are in sync with um, instinctually how women are instinctual all of these arguments about 50 50 and women are gold diggers and they only want your money why are we arguing about how we were born like it's just instilled in us naturally it's it's a natural thing so why am i going to fight it i don't need to change the world i just need to figure out how the world works and then play the game you can play mario brothers and then get mad because the little koopa things was spitting fire at you now you figured out how to beat the game you didn't say well this is not fair that they're spitting fire at me i just don't like the way this game is made nah you figured out how to play the game why are we not doing that for why are we not doing that for life? Why are we fighting against how life is instead of saying, you know what? I realize I get treated better when I look better. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look better. Do you know people who are deemed more attractive get paid more money over a lifetime than those who are perceived not to be? They get paid more. You know what I mean? Starting a little late, just got back from a solo birthday trip. Where did you go, Cammy? Happy birthday. I'm Missy Bat. Missy Bat. I think, you know, I, I, I read a book, Changed My Life, The Power of Now, taught me how to be present. It taught me how to not get upset about how the world is. Like, I don't need to go around changing the world. I just need to work on myself. I just need to change me in a good way. I'm not talking about it in a bad way. We're not talking about like societal pressures. We're not talking about that. We're talking about observing how humans act and then adapting so that way you have a really positive experience while you're here on earth. That's it. That's all. If you want to sit on the internet and argue about how like, well, men should do this, you're wasting your time. You could have been on a walk about 45 minutes while you spent talking on, yapping on the internet about how men should change their entire biology. Like, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? And, 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 and you, you'll see conversations about women and you know, people, women are getting judged. They're getting flown out. They're on private jets and stuff. They all look the same. They have one thing in common. 
Them girls look good. They are fit. Their hair is done. Their makeup is sitting. What are we not? One plus one equals two. <laughs> right? Imp Let me put this up here. Imposter syndrome. Hmm. Hmm. Linnell, imposter syndrome. You know what? I, I I made a comment one day. Um, a woman went live and she talked about and I talked about having imposter syndrome. And you know what she told me? She said, Well, you need to find, you need to talk, you need to talk to someone to figure out how to work through that. And you know, that was like the best thing that I could hear at that time because then it did make me look into it and why I felt that way. Um I had imposter syndrome really, really bad. I would not be on YouTube right now if I let that completely cripple me like it was. It was crippling me, you guys. It was crippling me. I just didn't think I was good enough to do certain things. If you have a desire to do something, that means you are capable. You are more than capable. And all you need to do, positive self-talk all the time. You know, you're letting little negative thoughts creep into your mind. You need to let it go. You need to get a book, a journal. You need to write down affirmations. You need to write down your goals as well. And you need to talk to yourself positively only. We need to stop the negative thoughts, the negative self thoughts, talks. And then we also need to stop believing what other people say about us to us. You need to really get in tune with who you really are inside because you know who you are and you need to turn inward and when somebody says something to you you need to just repel that you need to get comfortable with not giving a f what people think or say about you because you will literally stop living your life because you are afraid of what people will think and what people will say about you and they don't even have to live your life and you're suffering every day because you're not living the life that you want to live because you're worried about what somebody else thinks Right. Or what somebody else said about you that, you know, is not even true that you're allowing yourself to believe it. That's the ego. You know, the ego is believing that and then it's tricking your mind into it. Like you can't do that. <clears throat> What's that little story that we read as children? I think I can. Yes. Yes. I got to put this up there because it's, it's so simple, but it's so real. Like if you think you can. You can. If you think you can't, you can't. It's all about what you believe. You really could achieve anything that you want. I don't care how far from the bottom you're you're coming from. You can be anywhere you want to be. You can be married to a billionaire tomorrow if that was, you know, what you wanted. I've seen it. I've seen people's cha lives change overnight. I don't know if my friend Trisha's in here. Trisha will tell you, we were just kikiing about that earlier today. Like it can change like that when you shift your mind. It can change tomorrow. What are some great examples of confident women who know their worth and celebrate themselves? Man, I think we see people all the time. You know, I feel like lately, like Kelly Rowland, have y'all been seeing Kelly Rowland? Lately, that girl look good. <laughs> that girl look good. Positive thinking only creates positive living. Yeah. And keeping people with that same energy. Trisha, she's here. Say hi to Trisha, y'all. Trisha will attest to how life could change in an instant. Okay. And I'm laughing because I just know the details. I don't know how much of the details I can say, but just know y'all things can change in an instant. Okay. Because when you speak what you want, when you ask for what you want, I watched this woman have a, an entire distinct list of what she was looking for and got that. I mean, like out of a dream. Say hi to Trisha, y'all. Trisha, y'all gotta say hi to Trisha. Amazing, amazing woman. 
Trisha, what's your um leave your your Instagram and your Facebook and stuff like that. Y'all, if y'all want to get some words of affirmation, Trisha. <laughs> I'm telling you, we'll speak life into you, change your whole life. I'm on YouTube right now because Trisha told me. Like, why are you doing that? Stop. Because I told her I, I had imposter syndrome. Oh my gosh, thank you, Cherry. I struggle with my hair. My hair is long and natural and it always becomes a mess for weeks because I'm not good at taking care of it. Kind of want to get a relaxer, but I'm not sure any advice. You know what, Hallie? I'm going to say this. You want to do what is going to make you feel the best. If you are having an issue dealing with your natural hair and you don't feel like your best self, but you feel like you will be at ease if you put a relaxer in your hair, Holly, put a relaxer in your hair. Do not let people, it's hair. Do not let people judge you. The goal is for you to feel good in your skin. If you're no longer feeling good in your skin, you don't have to do anything for anybody but you. And if you decide you no longer want a relaxer later on, you want to grow that relaxer out of your hair, then grow that relaxer out of your hair. But it's so important to do what you want. Now, be picky. If you, if you, if you decide that you want to do that, be picky. But all I'll say, if you want to keep your natural hair, I love natural hair. I'm natural. I'm not relaxed, but I am not against relaxers at all, at all. If you just don't know how to take care of your hair the best, I say find a stylist that is good at natural hair and I say invest in it. If you can't afford going to someone, someone to do your hair and it'd be easier for you to deal with your hair and look a little bit more put together. If you get got a relaxer, get a relaxer and don't worry about what anybody thinks about. No judgment here. I hope we don't have any neck. Y'all, this ain't the place for judgment, guys. So if you're in there, I don't want to hear nothing about <laughs> we're not judging anybody for any choices that they want to make at all. People, people are free and they can do whatever they want. So I hope we don't have anybody in here who's judgy because we don't do that here. Y'all got to exit stage left. So if you want to get a relaxer, Hallie, get a relaxer, baby. Get a relaxer, get a roller set, get a cute little blowout, shake your hair, shake it around, do whatever you want because you got to live in that. You know, so if that's the major struggle, that is a quick fix. Do what you got to do, boo. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I have a dog. I'm sorry, guys. I have a dog. Judgment free zone, you guys. I love the beauty salon because I feel someone waiting on me hand and foot. Yeah, and there's nothing like that shampoo bowl, shampoo, like that shampoo. Hi, you're welcome. If you're from Facebook, I can't see your name. You're welcome, Cherry. And thank you, girl. Thank you. Hey, Bree. Hey, Jasmine. Oh, my God. I watched your video the other day. I love you, Jasmine. And I love your dog. You're so cute. Jasmine has an, a YouTube, you guys, too. You guys need to follow her. Yeah, you guys, no judgment, right? No judgment. I think we're all just trying to do our best. We're all just trying to find our footing here. And life is free. I'm free, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm free. I'm going to do whatever I please with myself as long as I'm not hurting anybody. And I feel I really implore you to do the same thing. Just don't just still be a good person, right? Like that's important. You got to be a good person. That's first and foremost, you know? And so while we're talking about looks mattering and things like that, the mind, you guys, the mind being a good person, you can't be pretty and be ugly on the inside. That's corny. That's just so corny, right? We're just not doing that at all. If, if you don't wake up every single day and want to show people love and you want to be of service to someone, then you really need to reevaluate just life in general because you got to give more than you take and you should always strive to just be the best version of yourself not just on how you look on the outside but just who you are as a person you know what i mean um just you know you don't want to engage in the gossiping i don't like the mean girl things that's why i don't have a lot of female friends because you know some girls tend to be mean girls and i'm not into the mean girl things i don't want to sit around and talk about another girl i don't want to do that 
Mm-mm. I don't want to sit around and talk about and judge. I, d- I don't want to do that. That's just corny activity. And the only person that I'm worried about being their best, I, I just, I don't want to, I don't have time for that. I don't want to put another woman down at all because I noticed too, because I've been this woman, right? I've been the woman who's walking down the street that somebody's like, ooh, right? <laughs> I've been that woman, right? But I was going through something. I wasn't happy. I was depressed. Relationship just, ugh, you know, just things were not good. And so when I look at people who are maybe they're not putting their best self forward or they just really don't look like they don't care at all. My first thought is they might be going through something. So why am I going to sit here and judge? Something's going on. That's not my place, right? You pray for them and then you move on. We're not talking about people here. In the It Girl University, we don't don't talk about anybody here. And speaking of, if you are new and you've never been here or if you're watching this on the replay, you can enroll in the It Girl University. I'll have the link in the description box below. Let's see, good vibes only, yes. What else are we talking about? I've never been a mean girl, I had to fight them. Girl, you wanna talk about fight? I had to fight off 10 girls at one time in high school, y'all. And that was crazy. One of them I thought was my friend. I didn't know until that minute she was hitting me in my face. I just watched their bougie Denver and make a video. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Erica. So if you didn't, okay. So I went to Denver a couple years ago. I think I I think I had just bought, yeah, I just bought this house that I'm living in right now. I, I bought this house. I went into an immediate <laughs> immediate depression. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I need to go away. And I booked a trip to Denver. And in that Denver vlog, I cut out most of it, but I was boohoo crying you guys, because I was like, you know, I knew I, and I didn't say it in the vlog, but the thing was, I knew I just wasn't being my best self. I wasn't putting my best self forward. I just wasn't being intentional every single day. I just, I wasn't on it. And I knew I can be a better version of myself. I knew I can accomplish the goals that I wanted to accomplish. And in that video, I said, I just got to do it. And I was crying. I cut a lot of the crying out, but I did leave a lot of the crying in. And I was by myself out there, you know? And I was struggling that day because it's like, Natalie, you could, you could, you could do it. Like, just get your, get your shit together. And I'm so happy you know, I'm, I'm glad you saw it. And thank you so much for saying that because yeah, my motivation did change. I, I I got it together. I had an epiphany. I had an awakening, you know, and that awakening was that picture of me on a beach in Mexico. (laughs) I'll watch the Denver video too. You inspired me to go to Denver on a, oh yay. Denver is beautiful, especially where I was staying. It was gorgeous. A kind word goes a long way. Absolutely. You guys, you know what? Whenever I come across a woman, hey, beautiful, hey, gorgeous. Especially when they're, you can tell they're in a bad mood. I don't care where I go. It could be like the gas station or something like that. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, beautiful. Or I'll compliment something that they, something, you know, something that I like on them. It could be their smile, you know, their dimple, their skin complexion, their skin, whatever it is. It doesn't hurt to just, tell someone that they look pretty that day whatever it is like make somebody else feel good you know like it doesn't hurt to do that and I like to uplift women so if I see someone and you could tell that when you especially if you tell somebody's having a bad day find something that you can compliment that woman on just see how it make you feel better honestly it'll make them feel better have you tried Moon I haven't purchased it I have tried it and it smells Amazing. Amazing. Today I have on um, Burberry Goddess, you guys. <clears throat> Choke hold. Choke hold. Yes, it's so easy to be kind. Yes, guys, like this. Uh, please like this video while you're here so that we can get more of our girls in. 
share this video if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, you're probably not going to be able to share it with anybody that's not in the group. You guys, that group, I'm trying to keep so safe. I have declined so many people. Like if they didn't have a Facebook picture, like a, you know, if they didn't answer the question, I was like, decline, 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 because we're just, we're so vulnerable in there. I just don't want lurkers, you know, you just never know. Oh, Timmy, you're welcome. Of course. I would love a video on your clothing and jewelry staples. Oh, absolutely. I would love to do that. Um, yeah, I have that coming up. I have a closet declutter cleaning <laughs> organizational video that's going to come up soon. I want to do some capsule wardrobe videos, makeup videos. And then, oh guys, I am so into jewelry, guys. I love me some jewelry. I love jewelry. So yeah, I could talk about jewelry for days. Um, yeah, no lurkers. Yeah, no. I mean, no, absolutely not. I'm so glad I cried. Oh, thank, um, thank you, Golden Delight. I'm so happy to have you here. Oh, sorry, says, so glad I got accepted into the Facebook group. Yeah, it's a vibe. In the Can we talk about the Facebook, Facebook group for a second? You guys, that is insane, the amount of interaction. You guys are so live and lit in the Facebook group. I just, oh my God. You know, and you guys know, I get real emotional too. Like I'll look and I'll be scrolling and I'm like, oh my God, they're so active. I love you guys because you guys are so uplifting. You uplift each other. You're so positive. I haven't seen anything negative in the group at all. It's just everyone is out to help the other and lift them up when they're down. I just, it's the perfect group. It's the perfect group. I've been trying to join Facebook since, but it's not going. I don't think I have a picture. Ooh, Timmy, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you're going to have to get a picture on there. I just, you know, message me. I just, I'm, I'm trying to protect my girls, you know? I need the declutter video for sure. I need to brighten my wardrobe and step into my new life. Yes, Trisha, but you have a gorgeous closet. I'm looking for some good silver jewelry. Any recommendation? You know, Dorothy, I'm a gold girl. <laughs> I'm a gold girl. Does anybody who loves silver... Please leave some recommendations for Dorothy. You guys, I am a gold girl. <clears throat> That's what we need as black women to support each other. So important. So important. Um, you know, we just don't have time. Like, you guys, we're women. We're already winning. Like, we come out of the womb winning. Right? Like, I literally love being a woman. It is such a blessing being a woman. There are perks to being a woman. There really are. People are trying to make you suppress that power. You know, they're going to shame you for being a woman and being alluring or being sexy or whatever the case is. Y'all, that's because they're afraid. Is there any minute if y'all... If, mm -hmm. I could talk about this for days, guys. But I absolutely love being a woman. And the minute you tap into that feminine energy and you realize the power you hold as a woman, you really look at life a lot differently. I'm, I feel like I'm smiling from ear to ear because <laughs> it's like, I, you know, you know, I almost posted some boohoo feeling stuff and I decided not to because the group is, what else are you saying, Sharon? You said something else. The group is so dope. Aw, but it's okay. I mean, if you're feeling down, it's okay. If you need us to lift you up, that's okay. Finley. Yeah, that's another that's another video, being a woman. I could talk about that all day. <laughs> when I tell you, when I wake up in the morning, I'm just like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I need help tapping into my feminine energy. You guys, <clears throat> the minute you tap into your feminine energy, you're going to feel like you can run the world. You're going to feel like you can just wave your finger and everybody's going to fall at your feet. Like being a woman is such a blessing. You know, you're a goddess, you know, literally. 
literally. Sharon, yeah, please. We got we're sisters. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you need us to lift you up, let us know, boo. Don't do that. Oh my God, Kira, you're in England? Yeah, watch the replay tomorrow, babe. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Good night, Kira. Thank you. Our feminine energy is our power. Do you think that you would have been given that energy if it wasn't to be used? Why do we fight against like what's natural? I've learned so much in the past two weeks. We didn't crack the code. We didn't crack the code, boo. Thank you. Yeah. And listen, I was able to go through all the trials and tribulations before y'all, you know? That's why I was like, I gotta tell, I gotta tell somebody this because ain't nobody telling them. We don't have to be out here fighting. And I still see people going real hard and doing a lot of strenuous workouts and all that stuff. And I'm like, it's you want to do it now i'm trying to tell you guys what will burn the fat <clears throat> that low intensity steady state cardio is going to burn the fat it's, li it's just science it's just like what it is that's the reason why you'll see a lot of bodybuilders they'll bulk up they'll bulk up and then when it's time for them to shred that fat so they can show their muscles they walk you guys they walk and it's either they walk or they sprint. But some of them are like, for what? I'll just walk on the treadmill for an hour. I'm good. Yeah, we can do a one-week challenge. Check in. You're about to have all the women just walking around being their best selves. You're, oh, thank you, Latanya. But that's the goal. That is the goal. I just want us to, like, hold our heads high. Because when you start feeling the benefits of being a woman, like... You know, men can wake up and decide to be their best selves and they're on top of the world. They're walking around, they're getting everything at their fingertips. Y'all, we are, we're women though. You know, do, if we did the same thing, we're twice as powerful. We're twice as powerful. I'm telling you, you got to tap into that. Be your best selves. There's no reason for us to be just walking around here unhappy, not living to our fullest potential, because we're missing out. And like I said, it's not just about looks. It's just about playing this game called life. You know, I don't want to walk up to a door and a guy just be like, yeah, you got it. No, I want you to hold that door open for me. Thank you. Not because I, it's not got nothing to do with the guy. It's just about, come on now, you know, I don't want to be mistreated or charged more for something. Or if I have the opportunity to walk in somewhere and somebody's like, you know, let me help you with that. I want that. Please and thank you. <laughs> if I'm walking out struggling with bags and you, people just walking around looking at you like, you got it. Versus now if I'm walking struggling with bags, hey, let me help you with that. I'll take that. Please and thank you. Okay? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dr. Body <laughs> Right? Did you see that? When I talked about Dr. Mike, right? Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike is fit, y'all. Did y'all watch that video? Shoot, she said Dr. Mike. <laughs> I'm correct now. <laughs> um, women have the power to command anything. Period. If you don't believe that, I'm telling you, you got to change your mindset. <clears throat> what is MSM crystal? So MSM, it's a supplement. You can get it on Amazon. Just look up MSM powder. You can put that, you, you want to take it along with a vitamin C also. So I would recommend if you take MSM, you want to also get like a, a, a vitamin C power a powder or just take, you can take it with orange juice, but MSM will grow your hair super long. It will stop the shedding phase. So it'll keep you in your growth phase longer. I'm talking about immediately. It also helps with inflammation. People use it for arthritis, knee pain, 
Okay, MSM is fire. Fire. <clears throat> the MSM, y'all. Holy. I found out about MSM about maybe four or five years ago. Okay, listen, my hair is the longest it's ever been. And my hair does not shed. I use, um, I think it's, I use a really, let me get the name for you really quick. I'll do that really quick. I use just one and that one has done me right. I'm telling you guys, like the minute you take it for a week, the next time you wash your hair, I use Nutricost. Nutricost is the brand that I use, guys. This one right here. Love it. And it's huge. Like, it's going to last you a lifetime. Literally. And you can just drop, you can drop it in your smoothie. You can drop it in your water. I just take it back. But I'm telling you, ah, chef's kiss. I get the best advice and resources here. Thank you, Susan. I'm so glad. Yeah, put that powder in that pre-workout. Yes, Jasmine. Oh, you've been taking it. MSM, y'all. Hey, girl. Sisters of Steel Gun Club. Ooh. What's that mean? What do you got? Do you have a channel? Hey, Shamika. Yeah, MSM is fire, you guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marie. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Does anyone take a pre-workout? If so, which one? I love Alani News pre-workout. Jasmine, which one do you take? It, you know, um, I just like, this is what I look for with a pre-workout, calories. Because I'll be wanting to eat my food, you know? Does anyone use collagen? Yes, I use Vital Protein. I have a new collagen that I'm trying out. I will let you guys know. So far, I like it. It has collagen and it has ashwagandha in it. And it gives energy and it's supposed to help with my metabolism. I'll let you guys know if I like that one. I've been using it and so far, it's so good. <clears throat> I use the amino energy. Alani New equals the Yes. I love Alani New. I love all Alani New products. No active channel, but we are in Knoxville. Oh, you're in. Oh, you're in Atlanta too. Cool. What do you recommend for bloating? A pre and probiotic. A pre and probiotic. I use seed and I like it. I love it actually. I I highly recommend you take a pre and probiotic. A lot of disease starts in the gut. If you want to kind of help your gut issues, start with a pre and probiotic, but you eating better and you being intentional with what you put in your body will also help. Get rid of the junk food if that's what you, if, if you're if you're I'm not assuming that you are, but if you are, get rid of the junk food, stick with more water than anything. And if you completely clean out your diet and you find that you're still bloated, um, you might there there might be a food that's hard for you to digest, which is why you want to feed your gut that healthy bacteria, your fiber, <clears throat> but pre and probiotic, I, I don't go a day without it, guys. You ordered the seed? Let me know if you like it. I'm on month, I think, three or four. Um, I was horrible with my eating. Yes, I feel you. I was too. You know what? I was bloated and I was gassy. And then when it starts going away and you feel better, you're like, oh, that's what was doing it. Like the, the food, guys. Eat healthy, drink a lot of water, get rid of all the crap. And I'm telling you, you will feel better every single day. Yes, I can't wait. It will be here tomorrow. Yeah, I really like seed. And I love that it's a, that they're going to give you a glass jar. And then every month they'll just send you some refills. When I tell you I take my seed every single day, that ashwagandha and my, my gummies, my vitamin gummies, I don't miss a day. <clears throat> And it's hard for me to swallow pills, you guys. Like, really, really difficult for me to swallow pills. But the seed is not that bad. I mean, 
you know, I struggle a little bit, a little bit. Every now and again, I almost lose my life every now and again. Oh, you ordered the seed too, Nala? Yeah, because you have to like, so with the seed, with a probiotic, you have to kind of like work your way up. Um, so you might even feel a little bit discomfort while the bacteria is just kind of, you know, getting into your gut. But uh, you guys, no bloating at all anymore. You, you, are you, you're fasting the whole entire weekend, like 36 hours or longer? Tell me more. <clears throat> what time do you take your ashwagandha in the morning? Tr Trisha put me on to ashwagandha, y'all. Where's Trisha? Is Trisha still in here? I saw a seed in your video and then every time I watch Hallmark, it was advertised. So I got it. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I love seed. Oh, Trisha, you're still there. Trisha's the one who put me on to ashwagandha, y'all. Listen, all she, she told me, she said, I've been taking it. How many years you said you've been taking it? Like, she told me something like, I've been taking it for like six or seven years every single day. I won't go. I said, well, that's all you had to say. Because if you're taking it that long, that's all you had to say. <laughs> four years, four years. So now I've been taking it and I don't go away. Can, it, can you please link the MSM you use? I will try it. I don't, let me see if it'll allow me to. The MSM is so good, you guys. Let me see if it'll allow me to link it. Um, you guys, come back and tell me how you feel about the MSM when you're done. I'm telling you, so good. Let me see if this allows me to. I don't know if it'll allow me to, guys. I think because I'm live. <clears throat> um... Marie, are you in our Facebook group? Let me know. Greetings from China. You're in China? Hey, Dioni. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <clears throat> Fasting, you know, um, so you guys that have been on, so tell me how you guys have felt over the last few days. Anybody feel any positive changes, feel a little bit lighter? Let me know. Because for me, after, after almost a week, you feel different. MSM and vitamin C have helped me with my ability to walk better and further. I'm telling you guys... Go get that. <clears throat> I feel lighter and not so sluggish. Yeah, right? More energy. Fasting will do that too. And you're going to start feeling less hungry. You just got to stick with it. If you can stick with it for a, like a, a few days and you get over that hump, you guys. Hi, cousin. Who is that? I don't see a name. Who is that? I'm losing my appetite. Yeah, the appetite will be gone. I mean, you still want to eat. Sleeping better. Oh, you guys. Walking will have you sleeping like a log. Hey, Yoli. That's my cousin, guys. Say hi to my cousin, Yoli. I only eat from noon to eight and it's freeing. Yep. Fasting, the longer you fast too, the more your body will begin to heal itself. I'm telling you, so this should be, this should be a breeze, you guys. This should be a breeze after this, like week two, just stick with it. After everything that we talked about today, just use, you know, every day that you wake up, just use that determination, that motivation for you to really tap into that eight girl energy to be that your best self. I, I don't listen. Like, I think we get better with age, you know, and it is never too late for us to put our best foot forward. So every day that you wake up, you need to really make a decision. You should ask yourself, am I going to respect myself today? 
And if you and if you decide, you know what? I'm gonna take a day off. It's okay. The next day, get back on it. Get back on it. This is yes, keep us updated. What did she say? I missed it. I missed the part about MSM. Can someone tell me which one y'all are referring to? I can't. Okay. So um MSM along with vitamin C. Um, we'll just help you with your hair and everything. This is the one that I use. Dang, guys, I wish I, I don't have a way to link it for you guys. Hmm. But this is the one that I use right here. It's from NutriCost. Sharon, you got to go. Bye, Sharon. Thank you so much. Look out for the 99 cent store closing. Oh, chia seed water. Yes, chia seeds do help you feel fuller longer because it expands in your stomach. You're welcome, Nala. Yeah, so it's on Amazon, you guys. You can get it on Amazon, two-day shipping, and it lasts a lifetime. One Reese's peanut butter cup never tastes. <laughs> but you know what, Erica? It's smart to just track it because then you can have a little something. Guys, there were times where I did just eat a little something, something like a little muffin or something. I still lost weight. If I cut that meal off at my time at 11, it didn't matter if I had a little mini cupcake or something like that. I cut it off. It's not, I did not stop losing weight. Because you remember the calories, the situation with the calories. I think the only time, you know, you would probably see, oh, you know what I didn't talk about, you guys? I want to bring this up really quick. No alcohol. You cannot have alcohol, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, boo. You made it before the live and then you did. Are you just getting off of work? <laughs> Trisha, why you say girl? <laughs> <laughs> no alcohol, you guys. Let me tell you. Do you know what alcohol does? So when you drink alcohol while you're trying to lose weight, your body completely stops prioritizing burning the fat because now it's trying to burn off the alcohol that's invading. It's just like, oh, there's something going on. I got to get rid of this. And it takes three days to go back to burning fat, y'all. Three days. I didn't, listen, I didn't make the rules. You cannot drink alcohol. That is not worth it. If you are on this journey, cut it. I did get a comment the other day and I realized that I didn't even address alcohol in the video. I stopped drinking. I had just complete cold turkey. The last alcohol that I had was on that trip in Mexico. Okay. And just know I had tons of shots of tequila. Did nothing funny. Did nothing. Did y'all see that picture? I wish I could have put that picture back up. Y'all. Wait, hold up. Let me see. <laughs> yeah you know what drinking is just mm -mm. bye I wish I knew your name aside from Sisters of Steel Gun Club you gotta go thank you so much for stopping in I never drink for many reasons but for all it saves calories yeah it really really saves calories guys you, you don't want to drink it don't really do anything for you to be honest I'm not saying that because I don't like a good tequila I love a good tequila <laughs> but I, I just can't have it all the time. I think it's it's okay when you get to where you want to get to 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 indulge a little bit. I'm not saying that because remember we don't judge here anyway, right? I love a good tequila, y'all. I love a good tequila, but I had to stop drinking the tequila. The tequila had me looking crazy, and you cannot if you eat while you're drinking, y'all. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> <clears throat> NutriCost MSM powder. Get that. Add to cart. Check out ASAP. I read somewhere that alcohol is a depressant. I believe it. You see a lot of really sad drunks. Um, but I don't know. How about vodka? Is vodka an option? Is vodka alcohol for sure? <laughs> you know, I, I read somewhere that if you drink, don't eat. If you don't eat, don't drink. And if you're going to drink alcohol, don't add juice to it. 
Let that be the last thing you have that night and that's it. Because everything you eat afterwards, your body's not going to process it anyway. So it's a, it's a waste. I, don't, I can't do vodka. Trisha, I thought you like rum. Where'd the vodka come from? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if alcohol is a depressant. But it's really not worth the calories, you guys. I do like a good glass of wine, but I, I'm, I'm trying not to do any of it. So, yeah, you guys. So, you know, hopefully this conversation was a good topic. I've been re I've been wanting to really talk about this and hopefully it kind of keeps you guys encouraged to keep moving towards your goals. Um, I want to have more conversations like this, obviously. I love, what do you guys think about the office hours? What do you think about that? Should we make this like a weekly thing? It doesn't have to be on Fridays. We can come up with a different day, but I like the whole office hours thing. Vodka is lowest calorie alcohol, but only with club soda or salsa water. Yeah, it's like it's got to be it's got to be boring. You know what I mean? We like the we like the office hours. Yeah, I like it. I think it's I think we should do it. And we could just talk about any and everything. She said, I'm a rum girl, but I got desperate. <laughs> I think I'm going to make the office hours a weekly thing. In addition to a regular upload. Um, you know, my mother told me to stop saying I don't feel good on camera. But the only reason why I didn't have a regular upload, you guys, is because I've literally been sick. But regular uploads are coming and we've got fashion and we've got skincare and we've got makeup and we've got closet reorganization. Um, I'm still going to do that vlog so you guys can really see like how I prep my meals, how I weigh my food, but just like my, how my day goes. Not so produced, you know. <clears throat> how about a high noon? What's a high noon? But I definitely, I think I'm definitely going to schedule the office out. I think that's going to be just a thing I do every single week. I just got to figure out the best day and time. What's a high noon? What is that? Is that a drink? Are we talking about drinks? Or are we talking about times? <laughs> Bi-weekly would be good. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm feeling the office hours. Plus, I feel like it's mint. You know, to get that comment about the office hours, I was like, I see you, God. I see you. <clears throat> oh, you're saying the time of day to do office hours at noon. I work, man. Y'all, I still work. I work, I work a full-time job and I've got kids. <laughs> I've got kids. Oh, it's a drink. It's a hundred calorie seltzer alcoholic beverage. Oh, Y'all got me. Listen, I'm all over the place. It's a drink, you guys. I'm thinking there was a time frame, a high noon drink. <clears throat> what is it made with? Oh, it's a brand. And it's a hundred calories. Okay. But here's the thing though about alcohol. Alcohol is alcohol, no matter how you slice it. I think if you're on a weight loss journey, I would just cut the alcohol. It doesn't even matter if the, it's 100 calories. The problem with it isn't even the calories. The problem is your body prioritizing trying to burn the alcohol in your system than burning the fat. So I would say to just, just cut it out for a little while until you get closer to your goal. And if you don't mind not losing fat for three days, and have at it. How old are your kids? Oh, 11 and 15, both boys. How to get rid of menopause muffin tummy? Will you ever cut? Um, well, I don't have a menopause muffin tummy, but we can talk about burning the fat. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, I would think, uh, well, is that something specific? I don't, you know, aside from just wanting to lose weight, because I feel like, you know, 
eating well, moving your body more should really, really help. Like I know the older that we get, it's just a lot harder to lose weight. I'm dealing with that, guys. I'm dealing with that. This has been the best, the most effective way for me to burn fat consistently, weekly, with no issues, no problems. And I, I and as I've gotten older, it's been very difficult for me to do that. I have not yet hit menopause, so um you know, I'm I'm sure that'll 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 be a factor, but I know several women who are in menopause and they are, you know, they're very healthy, they're very fit and they move their body and they're very intentional about what they eat and look great. So I think it just starts with still just respecting yourself enough to make the right food choices and to move your body more. You use the weight trainer. <clears throat> A waist trainer. I, I love waist trainers, by Oh, thank you, Dorothy. Thank you so much. That's why every other week, bi-weekly will be better for you and others. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, tune in whenever you can. I'm trying to be consistent here. Not trying. I'm being consistent here on YouTube, and I want to be able to get content out for you guys. And the thing about the lives is they'll replay as well. So if you're on the replay, you know, make sure to comment that you're here on the replay and you can still see it. It's not like you're missing it. And you guys know, I really try my hardest to respond to every single comment. It's not easy, but I really, really try my best. The challenge really took up a lot of my time because I was, it, I, I literally thought it was going to be like 10 of us girls in a Facebook group in this challenge. And then it was over a thousand. I mean, actually I had 2,700 women sign up. I did not expect that you guys. I didn't, I didn't expect that. So that took up a lot of time. Um, but as the challenge is going and we're all kind of getting our groove, then it frees up my time to kind of go back to YouTube because you know, you know, you guys got it. You know, we're on a, we're on a glow up journey and we've got this, the, the body to tackle, we're going to tackle the skincare, we're going to tackle the fashion, we're going to tackle the makeup, we're going to tackle finding our signature scents and our jewelry. So we've got to, you know, move forward. So I want to be able to put out content for you guys here on the channel. Um, I want to shoot for twice a week and doing a live is the easiest way for me to get in that second. But I work full time, you know, maybe one day I'll be doing this full time and then I can just get on here and film for you guys. That's the goal. I would love to do that. I can't wait to do that. How long did you cut out alcohol or how long would you recommend cutting out alcohol and weight loss journey of working out for as long as it takes to you get to where you want? I just stopped drinking. I didn't drink that whole four months. I just stopped it. <clears throat> you know, I mean, I just had to make a choice. You guys, I was really, really focused and if I wanted to double back, all I had to do was look at that picture of me in Mexico. That's all the motivation that I needed. I, I, did y'all see that picture? <laughs> like, did y'all see the picture? That picture was crazy. Happy Friday. So yeah, no, no, no alcohol. Rishi mushroom is great for menopause. I heard reishi mushroom is great for something else too. Is it like brain brain support? Oh, thank you, Miss Yvette. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, guys, I would love it if you guys would like this video. Give it a thumbs up, please, 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 <clears throat> and share it. Summertime, Susan. Summertime? <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I need y'all to stick with me. Like, walk with me, guys. Like, don't stop. Like, stick with me. Let's keep encouraging each other. Let's keep uplifting each other. Like, just don't stop. Whatever you do, do not stop. Summertime? Oh, we're all going to be a problem. Yes, Miss Yvette. I take, I receive it. I receive it. 
Thank you, Lily. And thank you so much. You're so active in the group. Oh my God. Every time I see you post, I just smile. Yes, walk with me, sis. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. And then I want you guys to... I want you guys to come back and tell me exactly how you feel. You're going to start feeling this thing, this power, this glow, this energy, and you're never going to want to go back. You're never going to want to go back at all. <clears throat> hey, April, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. May 11th, is that your birthday, Dorothy? If that's your birthday, that means you're a Taurus. You're definitely good people. I'm a Taurus. It's about to be Taurus season, you guys. <clears throat> oh, Lily, you're a Taurus too. Yes, Susan. And that's the way you got to feel, you guys. However, you know, when we talk about being our best selves, you need to walk like that today. Like today. Today is the day that you are your best self. And if you feel that way, you're going to you're going to make choices that that align with that feeling. So your best self isn't in the future. It's right now. You're already doing the things that are necessary. You're already doing the things that are going to get you to where you want to be. But the way that you want to present yourself, that woman that you're envisioning, you need to walk like her right now. I don't even care where you're at. I don't care if you have 60 pounds to lose. I don't care what it is. When you get up, you make sure your hair is put together. You smell good. You got the shower at night, throw some perfume on. You're just going to sleep better. I'm telling you, when you go to sleep smelling good, you sleep better. I'm telling you, it's science. I didn't make the rules. I didn't do it. It is almost... <gasps> your birthday's on the 26th? Did you tell me that already? Yes, mine's on the 25th. Woo, woo. There's a lot of Tauruses on here, Jasmine. I love Tauruses. My daughter's May 8th and I'm a Virgo. Jasmine, I love Virgos. We're earth signs. Thank you so much, Vivian. Serenity, yay, you made the live. Yeah, I'm still on. I've been chilling with you guys. I thought I was only going to be up here for an hour, but I love talking to you guys. <clears throat> Serenity, you're a Taurus too? All these Tauruses? Virgo Nation, September 9th. Man, I love a Virgo. Virgos are solid and loyal. It's the earth, earth signs. April 24th for your daughter? She's one day before me. 40 years old, 430, feeling great. Yes. I cannot believe there's all of these Tauruses. Wait, Jasmine, you're a Virgo. Okay, so th that's why we all in here getting along, y'all. We didn't, I don't know why. <laughs> that's crazy. It's nothing but Virgos and Tauruses in here. That's crazy. That's why we, that's why we love each other, y'all. That's so funny. What a coincidence. Yeah, I love you guys. Now let's say I'm on Aquarius though. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> oh no, there's enough. <laughs> Got a rep for the Leos. I've never had a problem with a Leo. Capricorns are great too. Earth signs. <laughs> the group is literally all earth signs that is crazy yeah I guess that's why we all get along that makes sense another Taurus that is insane okay so now I know now I know why we all get along so much we all are kind of like on the same wavelength <laughs> down to earth literally <clears throat> Trisha, what's your sign? Is Trisha still in here? I keep asking her that. <laughs> I'm a mom and I am single. <sighs> Missy, but was that who was telling me their kids? Who had kids that are young and is waiting to date? 
Trisha's a Libra. Tracy's a Sagittarius. My mom is a Sagittarius. I am down for a meetup, y'all. <clears throat> I really am. <laughs> Your husband said, I don't know who you listen to, but I like her. <laughs> these are, I mean, Virgos are good people. They really, really are. The people in the Weight, weight Watcher group will mean? Bye, Southern Belle. I'm down for a meetup, you guys. I just got to figure out a way to do it, you know, because everybody are, is so far. Where are you, Susan? Are you in Atlanta? Are you in Georgia? No, no, no. You're in D.C., right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm in the Atlanta area, <clears throat> but I would love to do a meetup. I'm in Aries, but my daughter is a Taurus. My son is an Aries. Virginia, D.C. I used to live in Northern Virginia. Fairfax. I really don't like mean people. I'm sorry, Lily. I, I don't do mean, guys. I hate that. I can't imagine just leaving a mean comment. To people, it's just crazy. A woman retreat—that sounds good. Like a retreat. I need to come up with some things. I'm gonna think of some things and do something so we can do a meetup. Come to Holland. <laughs> I would love to come to Holland. <laughs> so yeah, I would love to. I think I'm gonna try to figure something out. Especially as I feel like we're just growing. I feel like the IGU is getting really. You know, we were we're growing slowly but surely but we're growing and we could do like a cool we could do meet up in different cities we can do like a women's retreat you know Fumi is also in the DMV like we're in the DMV Virginia Maryland I was with you when you said retreat Latanya but I'm not gonna lie I'm not a cruise person I just did a cruise y'all in November oh lord that was my sign. You are not a cruise girl. My husband's a Taurus. I'm a Libra. Scorpio. My youngest son is a Capricorn. Woo -woo. Yeah, we're going to do something. I love the idea of a meet and greet. <clears throat> I love it. Hampton Rose, Virginia. I went to school in Hampton. I lived in Hampton. I lived in Newport News. I've been around, y'all. I've done California, San Diego. Um, Hampton, Newport News, I've done Richmond, I've done Fairfax, I've done Centerville, <laughs> I've done, I mean, obviously Atlanta, I've done Miami. Richmond here, woo woo, now I gotta admit, y'all, I didn't, I, what? I didn't have, there was nothing for me to do in Richmond. I didn't know what to do. You're in Houston? I want to go to, I've never been to Houston. I want to go to Houston so Houston, I want to do Dallas. I just want to do Texas in general. LA here. I want to do LA too. I want to go to Malibu. So I want to go to California and do all the things. I want to go to Malibu. Did you have fun in, in Richmond, Susan? I had fun. Mm -mm. And then, y'all, I lived out there when there was... What's the guy? What they used to call him? The guy who was shoot. I hate to talk about this. The guy who was, like, in the car with his son in the trunk, like, shooting folks. That's when I lived in Richmond. Talk about stuff. I really want to come to Houston. I'm definitely going to make a trip to Houston. I'm going to Arizona with my friends in May. And I'm really excited about that. I'm going to Scottsdale. I cannot wait. Socially, it was rough. I can imagine. Because ain't nothing to do. The DC sniper. Y'all. Do you remember where you were? <laughs> you guys. I was paralyzed with fear. That was crazy. 
<laughs> that was crazy. Listen, I want to come to Houston. I'm telling you, when I come to Houston, you guys will know. And so we could like do dinner or something like that. Or have like a little brunch or something. Jasmine said that was scary. I was like 13 or 14. That means Jasmine is a baby and I am old. I'm kidding. I, was, I think I was, I think I was like 19 or 20 maybe at the most. Listen, if you were living in D.C., if you were living in Richmond, if you were living in Northern Virginia, you was out here scared, okay? Like, you was running from your car to the inside of the building because you just did not know. That was a time. I want to check out Sedona, but I don't know if we have time to check out Sedona. So, okay, so here's the plan for... Um, the trip, the girls' trip. We want. I want to do. I. I gotta say, me. I want to do a hot air balloon. I'm like so hyped to do a hot hot air balloon. We're gonna do an entire spa day. We're definitely gonna hike because yeah. Um, and then we found some restaurants that we're gonna check out in Scottsdale. Do a little bit of shopping. Um, but I'm most excited for the spa day and the hot air balloon. I'm definitely gonna vlog that. That one is going to be like, I want to put my heart and soul in that vlog. So I'm definitely going to vlog that. <clears throat> yeah, Houston looks lit. I'm excited about the hot air balloon. That is like the most exciting thing to me. Well, one of the most exciting things. Like, like hello? I can't go and not do that. I've, I've got to do that. So I actually need to book that. I need to book that. And then I need to book my spa treatment. Um, we're going to do, I think it's called Savannah. I think is the name. Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, I will let you guys know. You'll see it. You'll see it. I'm definitely going to post that. We're going in May. So that vlog will come shortly after I get back. So I'm really, I'm so excited about that. And I'm just well overdue for a girl's trip. The last, this group that I'm going with, the last trip we did was Tulum, which was... Whew, if you've never been to Tulu, book it. Book it, Jasmine. Book it. <laughs> y'all, you know I can sit here and talk to y'all all day now. I'll let you know how it is, Dorothy, for sure. Um, and I'm just looking forward to some really good, like, girl time, just... You know, those times where you just like cracking up, laughing and just being silly and just, you know, whenever we get together, we'll have like good laughs, good cries. I may drink a little bit on that trip now. If you see it, don't say nothing. Remember, we don't judge here on this channel. Mm -mm. No judgment. Forget I said anything about not drinking. <laughs> Tequila only. <clears throat> Yeah, we do like to chit chat. I feel like we can just sit and we can just talk, you know. So like when when I'm off this journey, though, we could do like a, we could do office hours with wine or like your drink of choice. We can make it fun. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's fun when you find a group of girls that you could just like talk to all day. I love a good girls trip and I love a good set of friends that you can just chit chat and just kiki. I wish we could do, we need to do like, the only thing about this is I can read your comments, but so like I'm la like if I'm laughing, I'm like laughing at myself. You know what I mean? You, sometimes you want to see your friend's face, you know? Yeah, we're just like a little group. It's just, and it's a hundred of us on here, y'all. Shutting it down for the night. Good night. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here. 12 hours with no cheating. You should be proud of that. You should. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. It really, really is. Thank you, Jasmine. You are too, girl. You are too. 
Yeah, when you go a long time, when you 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 you're so proud of yourself when you hit an accomplishment. That's the best feeling. It's just like you want to wake up and you want to wake up proud every day, and you want to take it another day just to see how far you can go. It becomes like a game. Like let me see if I can do this again tomorrow, and then you do it, and you're like, ah, I got this. <clears throat> Two hundred to three hundred, like viewers on the lives. That would be crazy. I can't even imagine. I, I can't even imagine. To be honest, the first time I went live, I said, you know, I'm having like a good ten girls on here. <laughs> I am closing in at twenty k, guys. I think that is insane. I took two years off of YouTube, you guys. I took two years off of YouTube. And when you take that long of a time, you start really feeling like, well, I can't come back. I can't come back, you know? And when I decided to come back and I made the decision to come back last year, it was last year I made the decision to come back to YouTube. I had a conversation with Trisha. And after that, I kind of hit the ground running and planning because I knew I needed to get myself together. I had this like goal and a plan that I wanted to do. And I knew that it was going to take a while for me to get there, but I really stuck with the plan. You know, I just was very disciplined and I didn't know what to expect, but I knew I was going to do it and I was going to keep going anyway. And to get almost 10,000 subs in two or three weeks is unreal, you guys. I'm gonna try not to talk about it because I don't want to cry and my nose is already stuffy. But God is good though. God is good. And thank you, Trisha. I don't know why I'm crying, guys. <clears throat> Burnout, but I am about to come back with a comeback if you get me. Yes. All or nothing. Go all in, Jasmine. You already you got the personality. The personality is there. You are beautiful. Like I lit, I watched a video. Oh, the video of your dog that you showed. And he was like, like laying up on a little thing like that. I thought that was so cute. Do it all in, sis. Go all in. Balls to the wall and do not stop. Yes, Trisha. Forever grateful. You've never been on a live before. I was so sad when I never. Oh, I'm so glad. You've been commenting too. Thank you so much. You have. I'm glad that I'm back. I really, really am. I sent your glow up guy to my bestie who lives in Ireland. Black sis in Ireland. There's black girls in Ireland. Woo -woo. I love it. Good night. If you're you're on Facebook, I can't see your name, but you're welcome. Good night. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I love doing this, guys. I'm definitely going to do this a lot more. I'm so glad I came back, you guys. Let me tell you. Ooh, I'm glad I came back because I actually really enjoy it. The, the most daunting part of like doing YouTube is editing, but it's actually my favorite part. Because, you, you know, you think of something in your mind and you want to see it come to fruition. So when you see it, you're like, you're so proud of yourself. That's my favorite part. And it's actually the worst part is editing because it is so it takes hours, hours to edit a video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm loving the It Girl University students. I love everybody in there. So I'm so glad that you're loving it. Thank you, Audrey. Of course, I'm glad that you guys are here. Now, let me tell you something about Ireland. Speaking of Ireland, right? Ireland is all the rolling green hills. Gotta get to Ireland. It's one of those places where I'm like, gotta go. There's so many places I want to go. I want to go to Iceland, too. <laughs> black girls in the because Yeah. You know? Like, do they have Irish accents? The black girls in Ireland? Do they? I need to know, and I want to speak to them ASAP. 
Period. I'm making the Dean's list because this way it's coming off. Period. Good night, Erica. <clears throat> I'll see you on the next one. And I'll be in, I'll be in the group. You know, we're gonna be in the group chit-chatting and talking. Dedication and discipline is a big deal. Oh, thank you so, so, so much. Discipline is key, you guys. I've been taught discipline. You know, I, I keep it real. I was definitely super duper lazy last year. The Natalie I am today is not the Natalie I was last year. I was lazy, Natalie. <clears throat> super lazy, Natalie. Like just, you know, oh, that's too hard. No, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm still kind of that girl, but in a different way. You know, I want things to be easy so I can maintain it. So I just kind of pick my heart, if that makes sense, you know? The real black Irish. They have the cutest Irish. I I need to talk to them ASAP. I'm gonna go on a I'm gonna go on a rabbit hole looking for black Irish girls. I just want to hear them talk. That's so cute. <laughs> Where have I been? Like, are we kidding? Now I really want to go. Serenity, I just got too comfortable. Like, too comfortable like where you were. Been there. Been there. You get comfortable. You know, like when you're married, right? Like, I was very delusional. Let me, okay. There's about a hundred of us on here. Okay. I was very delusional. Okay. And thinking that no matter what I looked like, you know, that was going to keep my husband interested in me. And I'm not saying like, as if he just didn't love me or anything or any man for that matter, wouldn't love me regardless of what I looked like, but you do get very, very comfortable in yourself. And you just think, ah, you know, everything's okay. Mm -mm, no, it's not. It's not okay. <clears throat> you know, we gotta, you just gotta, you gotta wanna do better. Bye, Tosha. Good night. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta just be your best and not for anybody else, for yourself, first and foremost. But it's gonna be like a trickle down effect. It's like a domino effect where everyone wants to be around you because you feel more confident and you're in a better mood because you feel good, literally. You know what I mean? So it seems like it's okay. It should be okay. You should be able to look any way that you want and people still love you for who you are because what is most important is who you are on the inside. But that's just not how the world works. And then you you know, you realize that people are mistreating you because maybe you're not as pleasing to the eye. And then that's where, you know, people get really shallow, but that that's just as a human nature for a lot of people. And so you just got to make the decision whether or not you want to be like, I'm just upset because people are like that. Or you're just kind of like, well, let me put my best self forward. Because at the same time, when you think about it, as much as people should love you for who you are, whether you're overweight or whatever the case is, whatever you're dealing with, but we, our bodies can't even handle the weight. Like we're not, we're doing our body a disservice more than anything. It's a temple and we need to treat it as such. So it doesn't matter. You know, we could get angry at other people for acting a certain way or feeling a certain way about us because we're not looking our best, but why are we not looking our best? Yes, you have, it's true. Yeah, when you're married, it's work, you know? You're dealing with somebody who loves you for you, but who's still a man. So he still likes to look at beautiful things and pretty things. I mean, and you can't be mad at that. Like, yeah, you can't be mad at that. Like they're human, right? I don't get mad at stuff like that. I don't get mad at, at you wanting to look at beautiful women. I, it's just it's the human nature. I'm not fighting against that. But at the same time, it's like, but I should be looking better. For me, more than anybody, just to treat myself. I don't feel good. I don't feel good and I don't look good. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I do because I hate that thought that, um, oh, sidebar. I'm getting a lot of comments in my video about you want somebody to tell you that you were fat. You should just know. Baby, I woke up every day and looked at myself in the mirror and did not realize I gained that much weight. I would have loved a little gentle nudge. You know, I was being sarcastic, obviously, in the in the video. I didn't want anybody to be like, hey, you're fat. 
obviously not, but I think it's important to have somebody who come to you and say, hey, more so than anything, it's about health and you need to be healthy. And I just wasn't healthy, not gut wise. My body was in pain, you know, and just like, why am I, why am I doing that? You know? <clears throat> Good night, Dorothy. Sure. Hot Coco, you're making the sad face. Why are we making the sad face? Oh my God, I live in t-shirts and leggings. I'm going to do better. I'm a seamstress. It's no excuse. And you know what? Tees and leggings are okay. I am a tee and legging girl. I just make sure they're cute. Make a match, sis. It's okay. <clears throat> I think it's okay to want to be comfortable. Like, that's okay. But just, I say, go for matching sets. Put your jewelry on. If you're going somewhere, get you just like a necklace. I highly recommend you getting something. Well, I don't take off my jewelry, guys. Everything you see on me, aside from these right here, stay on 24-7, seven days a week. I don't take, I, I don't take my jewelry off at all. I'm too lazy to do that. Um, which is why I, I went out of my way to invest in, you know, real gold because I didn't want to have to take off my jewelry. And I wanted to, it's another way for me to always look put together. So it don't matter if I roll over in the middle of the night to go downstairs to get a drink of water. In my cute PJs, I look put together. My hair might be a little disheveled, but I just feel like these little things make you feel good. If I needed to come to the door, open the door, you know, in my pajamas, I don't feel crazy, like, because my pajamas are cute. They're not ripped. They're not tattered. They're matching. They look good. And I smell good. So it's okay. I think that's okay. Anyway, guys, it's 10 o'clock. I know we can sit here and talk for a lifetime, but I can't even believe that there's still 111 people here. If you have not subscribed, if you just found my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I'd love it if you enroll in the It Girl University. I left the link down below. I tried to leave like my makeup details and stuff like that in the comment, I mean, in the description, but I don't think it saved you guys. I don't think it saved Who's on Eastern Standard Time? Is it 10 o'clock for some of you guys? This is so sweet. Thank you, Linnell. Thank you so much. And you know what? You are what you think about. Keep that mindset. Keep that mindset right there from the minute that you wake up. That's the mindset that I had. That right there. That's the mindset. Every single day when I woke up, I thought about the end goal and I never stopped. That's it. It's 4 a.m.? Oh my God. Thank you for being on here. Oh my God. Please go to sleep. Oh my God. Okay, so if you're in Texas, it's 9 o'clock. That's not that bad. It's 10 o'clock over here where we are. Angela, okay, so it's 10 o'clock. Midday, you're in Australia? I'm sorry, what? And I'm just like shocked. I wanna go to Australia really, really bad. What season is it in Australia right now? Oh my God. People from Australia, I always trip out when somebody is like from another country and watch me. I love you guys too. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend too, Karen. Yes, I will definitely schedule out my next live and post it for you guys. It's nine, it's nine your time. Hey, mates, okay. It's autumn right now, Linnell. Oh my God, I wanna come to Australia so bad. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you so much. And you are too. You are too. You already know how I feel. Uh, thank you so much for staying on till four o'clock. I feel horrible. Oh my God. I can stay on here for hours. I love you guys, but we'll schedule another one and we'll have another good chit chat. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys. If you're not a part of the group, 
there is a link down there somewhere for the group. Join our Facebook group because we talk every single day in there. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next live and in the next video. Okay, bye.